Hey everyone, this is Barry Michaelmas. I just did a recount of my videos, and I think I can safely say that this is episode 16 of my Pokemon Black Let's Play. We are here in the desert. Well, right now we're next to a lake thing here. Battling a fisherman. But we just uh, got the third gym badge in Castelia City, which was all 3D and stuff. Wow, that was a nice critical hit for him. And we're heading north through this desert to wherever the next place is. I have no idea. So, what am I doing? I don't know. Just beating this guy up, I guess. I went back, uh, also, earlier. Um, back as in, back to some previous places. Oh, we're gonna learn Spark, yes. What is Spark? Spark is 65 power physical, and I think that's pretty good. It's better than Flame Charge, but it's nice not having all electric attacks. I wonder what my stats are attack and special attack wise. We can get rid of Pursuit because AI never switches Pokemon and I don't think we'll be competitive battling anytime soon. What was I saying? Oh, I was saying what I've done since the last video. I went back and caught some um, Mana, Muna, way back. Um, so now I have a male and a female so I can breed whenever I eventually find the breeding place. And I also got some Panpour, Panseer, and Pan Page. So, in case somebody wants one for free, if I still have them at this time, please say if you'd like one. Okay, here's another battle, I guess, with a fisherman. Fisherman's. He's got four Pokemon. Oh, Andrew. Got a lot. They're probably all Basculin, too. And I don't have one of those yet. Not sure where I'd find one, anyway. It's not like I have a Rod yet, or Surf. Oh, got KO'd. Blitzel. That's a pity. Paige will be able to make short work of these water types, though. So, Pansage. We have Seed Bomb now, actually. Um, I replaced Vine Whip with Seed Bomb. Seed Bomb is, I think, 80 power, and it's what I used to always use with Shaman back in 4th gen. It's a pretty awesome grass type move. Yep, they're all masculine, pretty much. Not pretty much, they are, I guess. And Paige is going to level up. Yep, they are. They all are. More Seed Bomb. And that's all. We beat Fisherman Andrew. It is this big. Okay. Should probably go heal. Back at the, uh, not back at the Poké Center, but back at the little house that's northeast of where I am now. This is a Scraggy. I caught one already since the last video, and I named it Salesman because it looks like he would be a good used car salesman. He's dark and fighting, I believe. Which is an interesting combo. Alright, that was not bad at all, of course. Here's the house. A little rest house. There are a lot of these I've noticed so far, like places where you can heal that aren't focus centers. Besides, um, let's see, your mom can heal you, but I guess that's kind of like a focus center. Not really, because there's no PC. So yeah, that's not a focus center at all. That's just your house. So your house, you can heal. 
you could heal back at that uh, preschool place next to the daycare and there was the lady the nurse in front of the forest and then there's this guy in the desert so it's kind of nice having a lot of places to heal but then again it makes training a lot easier than maybe it should be we're not complaining right oh wow I took like one or two steps and already we're another sand dial I need to catch one of these I wonder if I should catch this particular one. Gotta intimidate. And I think if I quick attack, it'll be low, lower. Mm, should we try a Pokeball? Should we try a Great Ball? We'll try a Pokeball first, I don't know. This is gonna be easier to catch or not. It is. Awesome. Now we have a sand dial. Is that like a play on sandal? Like the shoe? Croc does a croc. And yeah, Sunworm Sands. Sure, let's give a nickname. It's a guy, crocodile. Um, let's call it. What should we call it? Oh, I, I know. I know. Steve! Steve the Crocodile Hunter. Crocodile. Oh, there's a little girl here, or a woman with an umbrella. Oh, boy. But she wants to battle, even though she can't see. I guess you don't really need to see to battle. I mean... Parasol Lady. Sounds like Peach or something. Princess Peach. Timpole and Pidove. You can roost. I mean, I've never used roost yet, so it's always a first time for everything. Not really. That's not not a good thing to live by, I don't think. Air cutter again, but I get KO'd. Uh we can go out into our own timpani, timpole. Nah. Let's just go out into Pan Sage and get this over with. Sea bomb. Do, 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 do. Timpole again. Is that why she's a parasol lady? She has all these water Pokemon. They like make rain or something. Sandstorm. Keeps off, but it can't keep up stand. Yeah, that makes sense. Why would it? Why would a parasol save you from a sandstorm? Oh, look at all these Pokeballs around here. Hyper Potion. There's a guy in like a miner's cap up there. Oh, Great Ball. Can we go in in these buildings? This like all oh, it's just construction. Tired workers should head to the prefab house. What's a prefab house? What are these blocks here? Okay, let's just go battle this guy. My way of life is dynamic. Worker Gus. Logan Rolla. It's been a while since we've seen one of those. I don't have anything good against Rogan Roll on Blitzel, so we'll have to swap it out. It's probably a good time to switch in Timpani. Mud Slap. Go with. What should we go with? Bubble Beam? That would make sense. Oh, survives because of Sturdy. Sturdy stops you from being one hit KO'd. It's pretty much like a focus sash, but in the form of a nature instead of an item. It's arguably better than a focus sash because then you can carry an item with you. 
I guess you then you lose out on a, a potential nature that's good. Wow, I can't believe I was not able to hit that guy. We'll put in what's this guy's name? Um two by four. Two by four. Carries a two by four. Um, 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 Rogue and Rolla, low kick, sturdy. Oh no, it's just too weak. I should probably use Wake Up Slap instead. That's why. Like. Low kick is based on the weight of the Pokemon. Rogue and Rolla looks pretty light, even though it's a rock. Timber, that's the name of my Pokemon, and his Pokemon too now. I suppose we'll just stay with low kick. Goes for Bide. It's fine, because I'm going to do it KO anyway. Alright. And we don't level up yet. But we will next battle, I'm sure. Yes, Mr. Dynamic. Oh, these ladders look like they would be climbable. But they're not. It's all just part of their construction or whatever. It's hard to see which sand is... A deep sand. I mean, which sand is it? I know it's like the darker one, but it's hard to tell which. Timber. Well, that tune. And we'll go with flame charge. Oh, I should have went with shockwave or spark, actually. I should look and see if Blitzel is more of a special attack or physical attacker. We level up to 26. That's a lot higher than my other Pokemon, I think. I think I've been keeping this guy up front for too long. Oh, it's because Pidove died, that's why. Um, 45 and 32. Oh, special to attack is really bad on this guy. So we'll want to keep Spark up front. Followed by Flame Charge, Thunder Wave, and then Shockwave is bad because it's special attack. Probably should have just got rid of Shockwave. Sand Dial, we already caught one of these, so we won't bother with it. And I still didn't move this guy out of the first spot. We'll just run for once. It's not like he needs any more experience. Let's put Pansage up. Okay. Oh, wow, I went all this way just for an item. But it's TM41 Torment. I don't plan on using that because... I don't think it's enough of a deterrent, really. I mean, it stops Pokemon, other Pokemon from your opponent from doing the same move twice. And, you know, it's usually just fine to do another move. And I'm pretty sure that would be ineffective against uh, AI. Like, it would do another move anyway, usually anyway. Anyway, 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 anyway. We can put Pidove up front again. We'll take the EXP share and give it to Pidove. Even though he's already up front, like I said. And Pidove has a Quick Claw, so we'll just swap that around. And we'll give Blitzel Scope Lens. So now we can go up the main path. Here's a guy. Deep in the desert, uh, there's a desert resort. Ruins tourist a destination. This guy looks like he's ready for the desert. He's got all those bags with him. Probably heavy bat on the back. It's a backpacker. Kian. Kian? 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 Kiano? Kiano Reeves? No, that's different. Darumaka? We saw this guy on the previous video, I think. I'm not doing enough. I'm probably gonna die again, aren't I? Can't have that. We need Pit Up to actually get XP here. 
swap out into Timpani. Timpani needs EXP too. Let's go with Bubble Beam. And that's super effective. And Pidov is going to level up. Uh, wants to learn Detect. Um, nah, Detect isn't useful enough in this, you know, against AI. So, what do we have here? Pidov is evolving. I think it tried to evolve earlier and I stopped it because it was off screen, so I waited. But here it is. Yeah, you can just press B to cancel evolution, you know. And it, it can be helpful because they'll learn moves earlier. Wow, it's uh, Tranquil. That's not too clever. I kind of liked Pit of better than Tranquil, but that's okay. I wonder when we learn, or when we get uh, Fly. That'd be nice. Fly is so, so very useful. Especially when you don't have a bicycle. I suppose we get a bicycle first. That'd make more sense. Oh, here's a Darumaka. Darumaka. We don't have one of these. As I've said. Oh, we can give Pitov... Well, I'm gonna keep calling it Pitov. We should go... to the name raider... in the city below. Um, what was that? Castelia. Give this guy a new name. Tranquil. Something with Tranquil. How about we call it Dart? Like, Tranquilizer Dart. Okay, we're KO'd, but I think we're gonna be able to... Oh, no! I was about to say we're gonna be able to capture that guy. And now no one gets any experience. What a waste. Oh, well. Popular guidebook. It like a backpacker and is it like a guidebook like uh, I've heard like there's a really good book like a thousand and one places to see before you die and there's always that one guy Rick something or somebody's guide to exploring the world and stuff one day I'll travel to hopefully one day wait why was I, I just went to my bag for some apparent reason are not a so apparent reason, maybe. I'm paralyzed. Still paralyzed. Even if I'm paralyzed this time, it'll be killed by... Okay, I'm not. It would have been killed by Sandstorm anyway. Should probably go heal. And... What else? No, you know, we can... We can probably last these... These peoples up here. We'll just switch up the order. Hey, we'll put our starter up front. Pig Knight. Another backpacker, I assume. Yep, backpacker Jill. And she's got, uh, Petalil. Uh, yeah, I don't have one of these. I think this is, uh, like, Pokemon White exclusive, as far as catching it in the wild goes. But there was a trade offer earlier from a girl in that one city. That one city. Um, Nacreen? Who offered a uh, trade one of those for the black exclusive, which is Cottony. Hopefully I've got all that right. I think we're almost at the end of the little desert area here. I mean, there's cones and a blacktop just up ahead there. Waylon. That's an interesting name. It's got Blitzel. Uh, we can just probably stay in and just out hit it with some flame charge or rollout. Rollout will 2 hit KO too. Quite easily, actually. Okay. What do you know? The only thing I know is that I know nothing. Socrates. And on that note, 
I think uh, we'll just beat this Darumaka up and then that'll be it for today. Hopefully we can try and catch this, so I'm suspecting I would overpower it with anything but smog. And smog is going to do quite nicely. So we'll just let the poison wear, wear it down a bit. Oh, he dodged that. Okay, uh, one more should do... Should do. Then we can throw our Pokeball after the Sandstorm. And Poison. Yeah, it'll definitely catch, I think. Definitely, I think. That's not too effective. What should we call it? Darumaka. Well, let's read about uh, the Pokedex entry. When its internal fire is burning, it cannot calm down, and it runs around. When the fire diminishes, it falls asleep. Zen Charm. Um... Don't know what to say here. Elsa Female. Zen Charm. Fire. Okay. I'm not thinking of anything here, so... We're just gonna go with just something not so original, and we'll go with Zenny. Okay, so that'll be all for today, and we'll see what this guy has in store for us in terms of battling next time. Thanks for tuning in.